you're cleaning your build surface wrong. Okay, maybe not wrong, but I'm gonna show you how to do it better. Now, I'm sure you guys know the basics of cleaning a build surface, but we're gonna talk about something that often gets overlooked that can make the whole process significantly better. So let's do a quick recap of what it is we're cleaning from this build surface to begin with. When you touch the build surface with your hands, oils from your fingers get all over this surface. And that oil creates a film layer that you can't see that is a barrier between your first layer and the build surface itself. Those oils prevent the plastic from sticking to the build surface properly. And that's what ends up causing your first layers to not stick in the first place. Now, if you're like most people, you're probably using some isopropyl alcohol to clean the build surface, which is perfectly fine. The isopropyl alcohol is going to dissolve the oil and suspend the oil in the fluid that is the alcohol. And this is where things get a little tricky. You see, the problem is when you've got this mixture of oil and alcohol sitting on top of your build surface, you need something to absorb all that and get rid of it. Now, the thing is, most people are probably using this, just some basic paper towels. But here's the thing. Have you ever tried to clean up some oil with paper towels before, whether you're in the kitchen or in the garage with your car? Come to realize that this stuff isn't exactly very good at absorbing oil. It will absorb oil to a point, but there's something that you can get that is just as cheap, but significantly better. And that's where this comes in. Shop towels. If you've ever worked on a car and changed your own oil and gotten some oil on the ground, you'll probably be looking for a shop towel to clean up that oil. The reality is shop towels are a cloth-like material where paper towels are not. They're paper-like material. Cloth-like materials are used by mechanic shops all over the world because they actually work at doing one thing in particular, soaking up oils. Now I know you heard me say that this can be just as cheap as this, but not in exactly the way you think. You see, when you use a paper towel to clean up some oil, you get a small piece, and each time you clean the surface, you gotta throw this away. It's not really gonna be good anymore. It's pretty much used up. Now, cloth rags, on the other hand, are much better in the sense that you can use them multiple times. What I do is I fold it into a square twice. It gives me four layers. And every time I want to clean the build surface, this is what I do. I take my isopropyl alcohol. We're going to just place this build surface up here so you can see it a little better. Pour some isopropyl alcohol on here. And yes, I do want a puddle because I want to create a solution to suspend the oil. I don't, want, I don't just want to like shove the oil around. I want to suspend it in the isopropyl alcohol so that it can be wicked up by this cloth-like rag. And what I do is I just wipe it down. It's pretty similar to what you're already doing, but the difference is because these are so thick, you don't only have just the one side. You've got this one side we've just used, Flip it over, you've got another side you can use. Invert it, you've got another side you can use, and then another side you can use. You essentially get four times as many uses out of one of these as you do one of these. Side note, these are lint-free. So if you've ever used a lint-based paper towel or a napkin to do exactly what we've just done, you probably know the frustration of having all those little lint fibers stuck on the build surface that again, shouldn't be there, they're probably going to affect your first layer. There's multiple benefits to these shop towels. They're not that expensive. You can get them at any auto parts store. You can go to AutoZone, you can go to Advanced Auto, you can go to O'Reilly's, you can get them on Amazon or even Walmart. So the next time you're having some first layer issues and you're trying to clean the build surface, maybe aim for one of these instead of grabbing this.